Well, how do there, chums? Right, well, there's quite a lot to do at this new town. But you know what? Before I do too much at this new town, I think I should go and show a little bit of love to my older towns and go and revisit them. So let's just hit up this portal. I mean, I can get back here whenever I want now. So pretty darn nice. And that's where I've established my town. Pretty awesome. Right, well, I'm going to go all the way back to my very first town over here. Boom. Because it said that once my Midgar town, or Midhaven town, I should say, not Midgar, reached level 3, I could upgrade this one to level 2 or whatever. I mean, level 2. There we go. Let's have a look. There we go. Yeah. Press Lots of people are saying that they can't hit the upgrade button. Nothing happens. Press down. And you'd, you'd see it goes, it goes, it goes another colour. You have to move around until, there you go, it goes green. There we are. People feel it's bugged out. It is a bit, but you can get around it. Sweet. Um, okay. What the fuck are you doing, mate? All right, looks like they need my help. Let's go and have a look what they need. They need cob and a gold bar. A golden bar. Okay, right. Well, the cob I can help with right now. I think I have one inside of on inside of here. Yeah, we've got that. Let's go give them the cob quickly, and then we'll go get them the gold bar. Zanzibar. Go. Cool. Let's go stick that in there then. Sweet. Oh, it's getting a little larger. Papa Chow. Right. Okay. Now to go get them the gold bar, I need to go to my mining town over here. Uh, what's going on there? Why have I got that there? Through withered lens. What the blind fudge is going on over there? All right. Well, we need to go to my town, which is there. Okay. There's quite a lot of markers going on there at town. I don't want to go and accidentally hit a mission. Just, obviously, that's going to be another. Oh yeah, look, there's a mission right there. I'm going to ignore that. Right, gold merchant, gold merchant. How do you get gold bars? I've not had a gold bar from the gold merchant before. So to get a gold bar, I need to give him five gold nuggets. Well, I can get another gold nugget there. Lovely. Uh, right, so I need to get myself, right, quite a lot of goldy stuff so how am i going to do this what's the best way to do this let's go and have a look what i can turn into gold through the midas touch right let's have a look in all my chests see if there's anything that i can turn in via scrap let's have a look bum 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 scrappy scrap i could probably scrap all of them actually oh, i haven't got much in there oh you see these things somebody in my comments told me that that's a recipe so you need to take it out firstly and i thought the devs hadn't put in an icon but no it's just a recipe there you go i've just learned a new recipe haha <laughs> what an inject right okay let's go this way then let's have a look at my other chests see what i can get i mean i've got all this that i can harvest and i could turn a lot of this into uh gold yeah let me harvest this and i'll be right back Okay, right, well, I think I've managed to scrap enough. So let's go into here and let's get quite a lot of those then. We'll get four of them. Three and four. And then we should be able to get a gold bar, right? Yes, gold bar. Thank you very much, indeedy do. Okay, we've got that. Let's uh, head on back to our teleporter then, and let's go and do up our first town. I'm hoping that they give us something that we can collect from the steeple as well, and then we can create another town. That'd be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Okay, here we go. Let's go back over here. Let's go back to my first town. Is that my town? It's hard to say now, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Sweet. Okay, here we go then. Let's interact with that. Turn that in. Lovely jubbly! Done. That's looking cool. Sweet. Oh wow, we're getting new buildings. We've got like almost a windmilly type building. I want to build that. 
Awesome. Okay. Sweet. We can build all sorts now. Right, where's my crafting bench? Oh, it's over here. Let's have a look, see. Where's that little windmill? Oh, I can build a windmill house. Look, I can build one. We're gonna build it. We're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Sweet. I'm gonna put that up here. That can go right up here. I guess it can. It can go. Oh, is that a farming plot right there? Looks like a farming plot, doesn't it? What is that there? Oh, it is a farming plot. Can I rotate this round and put it near to the farming plot? Because that could look quite nice. I don't want the propellers to touch. That do. <laughs> Rise from the grave. Cool. Oh, that is so epically cool. Can I use this over here? This little plot. Huh. Maybe not. Okay, I could have just stuck it on there then, couldn't I? But there you go. We've got a lovely little windmill house. All right. Coolio. Um, right. That That's pretty darn epic. Right, what do I need to do to make this town awesome? That's not my that's not my mission board, is it? Where is my mission board? Oh, it's around here. Oh, the village tower is at its highest tier. Oh wow. Okay. Let's have a look at the old build list then. I can build animal pens! No way! Heck yeah! Okay, so I need some wood, I need some fur, and I need some cob. Right, we better get some more cob on the go then. The only thing is, I don't think I've got all the ingredients for cob. Let's see. Cob, we can. We can do two. Uh, yeah, we'll do two then. That's going to be half an hour before both of those cobs are ready. That's a long old, old time, isn't it? Okay, well, what else is there? After that, there's a deli. We can make our own deli. Okay, well, I'm going to need the fur. I've got, I've got some fur stashed away in some of my storage. So I just need to get a load of wood. All right, well, I'll go cut down some trees while we wait. Okay, now I have got like 200 odd um, amity. And I've got this other biome just over here. Oh, no, we've got a, we've got a spider chasing me. Oh, he was a big spider, wasn't he? I thought he was a little spider. Oh, well, we got some bones, which is good. Anyway, let's go and head up this. Yeah, let's put the amity in there. Kaboom! I'll grow a little bit bigger. It's going to be another 15 minutes before I can put any more amity in it. Well, there we are. Looking good. Is there anything I can eat? Because I'm getting seriously low on health. I do. At least I don't think I can put any amity in it. No, another half an hour on that. Okay, let's go find some wibbery trees to cut down then. There's one up here. Get some more wood. Berries. Lovely. Are you a dead tree? You look like a dead tree. Yeah, you are. Cool. Any other dead trees? Mm, you don't look dead. Oh, you're going anyway. You smiled at me the wrong way. Done. Okay, John, so if I go into build, I should be able to at least put down the blueprint for this. Be animal pens. Um, where's the best place to put this? Right, leave it with me. I'll have a look for a good place to put those.
Okay, right, well, I'm going to be putting it there. Sweet. And it's almost ready. I can put some of this stuff in right now. Sweet. And I go look in all my little chests and see if I've got any fur over here. I think the fur is over in my other area. Yeah, not in there. Oh, God, what did I do? Dang it, I always press circle to close and end up taking stuff out. Bit of a weird one. Anyway, I'll sort this out. Aha, there's my fur. Let's take the fur out of there then. We can go stick that in. It was in this area. That was quite handy. Okay, put that in. Huh? What the flying fudge? Okay, yeah, I got my free furs. Okay, I need four. Right then. Okay. Um, I'll use the teleporter then and go see if I've got another fur somewhere. That was weird. Hmm, oh well, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, I've got seven fur over there. Let's, um... Okay, now I've got four furs. I think I just took the whole freaking lot. Alright, let's have a look. Yeah, I've got ten freaking furs on me now. Right, let's see if that does the trick then. Right, we'll head back again. Here we go, people. We're there. I don't know what it keeps climbing on. There's lots, lots of invisible things or something. Turn that in. And now I think we've just got to wait for the cob. Yeah, look, there's all, there's all invisible junk here for some reason. Okay, so the cob is over at my composter, which is down this way. Pass my allotment. Down here, round here, and how are we doing on the cob? We've got five minutes on the first one. It's going to be ages before we get both of them. Hey, what chums? While we wait for that to go, Miyogi has been playing this as well, and he's been hitting me up and we've been messaging each other on this game. And he says, if you go to this Anjan temple, you see this pond that's in the middle of this lake right here? If you fly down and land on this island in the middle, there's a chest. He didn't tell me what's in it. He's left that part a secret. Let's see if we can find said lake. It's not there. All right, let's have a look at the old map. I'm facing the wrong way by looks of things. Let's go over here then. Let's have a little look-see. Whoa, Jesus, I nearly fell off of there, didn't I? There's my town down there. It's that way, by the looks of things. Glide all the way over there. I didn't even see the lake there, you know? Alright. Um, is that it there? Because that's my town, the opposite side of the lake. I think that could be it. Doesn't look like a lake to me, though. This is a bit weird. Yeah, look, I'm facing the wrong way again. I really wish they would give us custom markers. Because now I'm I'm facing in the right direction, but it doesn't feel like it. Okay. So maybe through this bit here. Round here. See, I'm not even sure where I'm freaking heading. Alright. There seems to be something down there. I don't know what that is. There's something in the centre here. It's not even a lake, though, is it? I don't think. What the flying fudge is that? Have I even come down to the right place? It looks like the fossilised remains of a giant fish. Doesn't look like a chest. Well, maybe I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, I flew past it. I flew freaking past it, people. Alright. 
Ah, here's the lake. So maybe I'm going to get all the way up there. Hold on, look, there's a shrine right there. Maybe that's what is meant. Let's head on up there then. Let's have a look at that thing, whatever that is. Hold on, is that my town? I think that's my town that I built. <laughs> that is my town I built. So I've got to go all the way up there. Alright, let's go up there then. I built right next to this thing that Miyogi's on about, maybe. Okay, this could be horrendous climbing all the way back up there. You know what, I'm going to teleport again. Have a little look. See if I can redo that and do it better. Right, let's go back up there. Right, so now I know that it's actually quite high. I think it might be all the way up there. Let's have a look. Map. Yeah. I think it is. I think it's all the way up there that Miyogi's on about. I don't overly fancy doing that. That's a git and a half. Okay, let's let's uh, let's see if we can get up there. But I I don't like climbing mountains. Mountain climbing is not my forte, as you'll soon see. Oh my god, I hate this. All right, let's go for it. Is there somewhere I can actually... I, I'm not seeing my stamina. There we are. Okay. Right, let's try standing there. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. That treasure chest can stay forgotten, sir. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. That's insane. I mean, that's pretty much vertical going up there. I don't think I'm going to be able to climb all the way up that. It might be a better option than what I was trying to do, though. We give it a look. It's a bit dark though. But yeah, that might, I don't know, let me walk it. I don't know. No, look, it's climbing again. I haven't got the stamina for that. This could take a month of bloody Sundays to climb this mountain. This is like Everest. Look at this, then it just goes freaking vertical, mate. I, I, I haven't got the stamina to get me even halfway up this. Look, see, look, I've already run out of stamina. And there's nowhere I can go now from here, I don't think. I think this is a wasted journey. Yeah, I'm going to fall now, and I'm going to get seriously injured. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not going to muck about with that one. That chest can stay up there, Miyogi. They have got rid of the, um, the issue with swimming now, though. You can swim as much as you like, and you don't just die instant death, you know? But well, you know what? I'm fairly close to my town. Somewhere around here, anyway. It's this way, according to the map. Feels like I'm going the wrong way, but apparently it's just around this corner. Maybe. Oh, I'm brutally stuck now. 
I have no idea where I am. Right, I'll go the way that I thought my base was. Sod the map. Okay, maybe the map might have been a good idea. I'm gonna run into spitters and all sorts of stuff now. Fudge and heck, I am lost. Balls! I'm lost. Oh no, I know where I am now. Cool. I'm back at my lovely forest. Nice one. Okay. Okay, jumps and over at this place I can build a blacksmith's. Again, I'm going to need a lot of stone and a lot of iron ore to make this blacksmith's. But you know what, I think I might put the blacksmith's up here if I can. There we go. Right there would do the trick. Boom. And I can turn some of the stuff in on this. So my, maybe I can just do this while I'm waiting. Yeah, it's not that chest. I'd have to ask Miyogi what was in the chest to see if it's actually worth it. Because that was a struggle and a half. Okay, turn in the gold dust. Sweet. And I need iron ore. I think I went past an iron ore node just momentarily momentarily ago down in this valley over here. I'll go and have a quick look, see if I was right. Sweet. Won't be a moment. No, I think I might have been mistaken. I thought I saw a node somewhere around here. Or was it down here? I know where there's loads of iron ore, but... No, it wasn't round here. I didn't come past a river on the way back. It must have just been a rock that looked a little bit redder than the others. Oh, now I'm a bit lost. Imagine heck. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think there was... There's a limestone deposit there. But I don't think there was an iron deposit. All right, yeah, I must have been mistaken. All right, cool. I do know where there's some iron, though. Okay, I have to feed one of these. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, come off of there. And I think I've got some Nashu fruit. Oh, I did have Nashu fruit. I've run out of it. Okay. And I think I've got some lettuce back there. I haven't got some lettuce. I can grow some lettuce. Oh, it looks like my cob is about ready. There we go. I've only got 11 seconds left on the cob. I've started some lettuce growing to feed those um, those creatures that I have to feed. I have to feed two of those to fulfil that biome economy thing. So there we go. We've got the cob. Let's go back up here then. And where was it? The animal place over here. I'm hoping that once I've got the animal place, I might be able to get, like, you know, the um, the dung. I'm hoping I can get dung a lot easier at this place. Whole reason I want to build it. And I'm wondering whether it might mean we might get some stables for new mounts, perhaps. Let's have a look at this place, and what exactly does it do? Uh, there's a pen of sorts, I suppose. What does it actually... What does it do? Is there a place I can interact? Aha! Here we go. Right, what creature can I put in here? And how do I put them in here? Okay. Right. Animal pens. I don't see how to put a pet, a creature in there. All right. This is a bit weird. Oh, okay. So you just put in, like, the fur and you're going to get meat out. Or you can put in a leaf and get meat out. Or an egg and get simple fruit treat. I was expecting to see an actual animal in here. Um, yeah, that's what I was expecting anyway. I was expecting to see an animal in here. And then hopefully you could just get dung from it whenever you wanted to. If you fed it or something. Not quite what I was expecting then. Oh well, well there's that. I've built that then. That looks pretty darn nice. What's the next thing I can build here anyway? I can build a deli now. Alright, well I might as well hit build on it. 
and um, get it going anyhow. Right, where do I want to put this deli? Probably over here, facing out that way maybe. Near to the tourist attraction. Yeah, I'll rotate it round a bit. Like so. Bring it back this way a little, if I can. And I think about there probably be perfect. Yeah. I do. Rise! Heck yes. And of course this is going to take me quite a long time to get all this in. I can get in the tree bark anyway. Oh, would you look at that? Inside of the recipe, you've got to actually create rope. That's not good because rope... Ah, actually I can make rope. I thought they had taken rope out the game. That's a bit naughty. Right, hardwood and cob. I've got to make more cob. Oh my days. Right. Well, let's go and see if we can make some more cob. And we know that that takes like half an hour. And I'm going to need a load of clay for that. And I still haven't gone and got my iron. That's over where there's a load of clay as well. I can only make one at the moment. We'll get that on the bake. Right, we better go get a load of... Have I got a pickaxe? I have got a pickaxe, that's good. What I haven't got is a spade. Right, we'll head on over here then. And we'll go get a load of... Clay! Which I'm going to need a spade for clay. Can I craft a spade? I need a bit more fibre. Alright, fibre, fibre, fibre usually some fibre bushes around here. There. There we go. Now I can craft a spade. Right. Now we're good. Now we can go and get everything we need. And I'll go get the lettuce later and we'll feed those creatures before we head off from this area. Oh, there's loads here. There's wood there. Cool. Now there is some clay around here. It's just very hard to spot. Because it's so overgrown now. Where is it? Where's the clay lumps? There's one. Lovely. Got some more clay. Any more clay? I think there's three lumps of clay around here, but finding the other one, it's it's quite an elusive bit of clay. Anyway, up here, and behind this hut, there's a couple of iron nodes. Where are they? There we go. Boom! Pal! Slap a jack! Lovely. Two iron. A little bit more iron. There's one more over here. And you know what? We might as well get the stone while we're here as well. And that one. And that one. Right, then there's some more clay down on the beach there. Oh, there's not normally a giant freaking spider nest there, though. Right, we better get rid of that first. That's new. Some more stone down here. Just Mary Poppins my way down. Get these. Right, well I'm not going to be stupid. I'm going to eat something before I go down there and fight those freaking spiders of evil. Let's go get them. 
Yeah! It's one down. It's two down. Quick, 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 quick. Four more spiders spawn in. Oh, there's one. We're just gonna have to take the damage from him. That teacher. That should be all of them. We ransack that. There we go. Dig up our clay. You can also get an abundance of cactus here. You can see the plant just there. Look, there's a cactus plant. You can have that. Yeah, I can take a little damage, but not much. There we go. And they don't always give cactus. So you might as well just you know, harvest them all while you're down here. Get a load more clay so we can make some more cob. There's a seashell. What have you, seashell? By the seashore. Okay. Now, sadly, if we need more clay, I'm going to have to go all the way. That. Ah, get out of it. I like the noise it makes when you hit a spider with a spade. I don't know about you guys, but it's a beautiful sound, isn't it? It's a beautiful, beautiful sound. Okay, right. There's another cactus out here. There is a cactus over there, but you can't harvest it. It's too deep. Is that some more stone? Yeah, we'll have that. Uh, I didn't know that was there. Find something new every time. Might as well get the cactus. They come in handy for feeding creatures inside of some biomes, like those kangaroo creatures. Keep going over to the statue because I'm sure there should be a relic here, but there's not. I've climbed all over it. It's a cool statue though, isn't it? Anyway, swim around here. There's a couple more cactuses around here. There's not many lumps of clay though. You've got this out here, which is a salt deposit. Where's my pickaxe in that animation? There's a sand deposit down there. There we go. A couple more cactuses to be had here. You've got to be careful because spiders attack you here as well. Look, there's a big freaking spider right now. Right, come on then. Yeah, you want some? Have that, mate. We got him. We got him good. Okay, and I don't think there's any more clay to be had here. There's a couple more um, seashells and stuff there. Funny thing is, you don't get much kelp by the sea. They really do need to change a few things up in this game. You should find loads of kelp here, in my opinion. And you shouldn't find any cactuses. The cactuses should be in land. Look, and over here, look, you can see there, there's a clay deposit. How are you supposed to get that exactly? You know? How? You can't, can you? You can't use your shovel underwater. So unless the tide goes out, which I'm fairly sure it doesn't, no one's ever going to be able to harvest that. I don't know whether they got some procedural engine to place this stuff, but some of it doesn't make all that much sense. Then again, it's a make-believe world. They can put it where they like, can't they? You know. But it's just a little bit foolish putting clay in the middle of the ocean. Add a couple more nodes around here of clay. That'll, that'll make me a very happy person. Now this node right here spawns a weird creature. And he's a git to kill. So I'm going to make sure I've got this installed. There he is. Aha! I was ready for you, mate. Got a pearl off him that time. Well worth a kill. Ah, oh, there is another clay lump down here. I did not know that. Mainly because I usually get chased by that freaking creature for half an hour. Right, there we go. 
that's pretty much everything down on this little beachfront that I've got for you. I mean, you probably know of more nodes, perhaps, than what I know about. But that's all I seem to harvest around here. Then I head back. Cool, let's just climb up here. I don't think I've been up here before. Right, well, the cob's still going, so I might as well gather these lettuces. And um, I'll go and feed those strange creatures that I have to feed. The Goro, or whatever they are. Hopefully they're about at night. I do know that developers are working on making it so different creatures will spawn at night. So Nocturnal versus Dorineal. Okay, there they are. So I need to get my lettuce equipped. Hey chaps. Oh no. Throw it. There we go. And one for you as well, mate. Are you going to eat it? Oh no. The big creature's coming to eat it. You took too freaking long, mate. Eat the lettuce. Freaking hasn't ate it. That's disappointing. This big giraffe's going to eat the other lettuce if you're not quick. Yeah, daft idiots. Uh, fine, I tried to feed them. There's they eat lettuce. They also eat carrots. You know what? I go, I go grow some carrots as well. Was that definitely him that eats carrots? No, it wasn't. They eat the Nashu fruit. Well, the Nashu fruit, I think, grows on this tree. It's a get to get. Um, right, so I need to find the opportune place to climb. You need to climb to that ledge there first. Here you go, I'll show you how to climb this tree. I say, I'm probably going to fall to my death. Okay, here we go. Let's head on up here. You get above this ledge here. And then you press the crouch button and you fall to the ledge and get your stamina back. And your next climb is up to these branches right here. Okay, we can get a temperate seed wire up here as well. Then what you do is you crouch and you walk to the limb of this. Oh, they've moved them higher up by the looks of things. Oh my days, okay. Usually they're shining on the end of here. Look, there's one actually over there. Look, you see it. I just don't think there's one on this branch. I'll walk out on this branch and see if there is one. Oh, there is one. Look, there, there it is. There we go. Got Nashi fruit there. Well, we've got two already. Okay, that's good. All right, so we only need two anyway. Where are they? Are they in my hand? They are in my hand. Okay, good. Let's uh, Let's go back down then. And let's feed them those. You fussy git. There you go. Eat up. Are you blinking stuck or something? All right. I'm not going to waste any of my lettuces if you're not going to eat them. I think he's stuck. I think they're both stuck. No, they're not moving. Yeah, they're not. They're not blinking moving. They're stuck. All right. I guess I'm going to have to teleport and come back. Oh, we found some more clay, though. That That's good. Yeah, John's got quite a lot of common seeds, so I'm just planting them all the way around my homestead. You can see here it's pushed my amity up through the roof. Um, I've still got those little nuts on me to feed to those hippo-type creatures that are stuck. I'm going to teleport away in a moment, then teleport back here and go feed them. Let's see if I've got everything I need for the blacksmith now. I think I got all the iron. So I think I'm good. Okay, so we've got the iron. Yes, and we only need one more stone. Let's see if we can find a stone out here. 
Great, when you want a stone, you find a stick. Right. Um, stone, stone, stone. Are you a stone? No, you're bloody stick! Stop being sticks! Are you a stone? Yes, you are. Brilliant! Let's go and quickly go and build that then. Stone now seems to be something that I don't come across as often. Oh, for fudge, just get over the bloody wall! Okay, there we go. Done! Now we've got a blacksmith's, so I should be able to make iron versions of each of my tools that might last a little bit longer. Oh, there's some stone right there. Need a stone pickaxe? Well, I think I've got a stone pickaxe. But why create a stone pickaxe when I can create a metal one? Okay, let's have a look. Hello. Oh, look, I'm all over you. What are you doing here, mate? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, fine. That was the random conversation, wasn't it? There we go. Let's head on over here then. Ah, we can make an iron pickaxe. Yes, I want that. Oh, we need iron rods. How do you make iron rods? Okay. Um, I don't know how to make iron rods, mate. Oh, we can make a freaking sword. Okay, we need a steel ingot for that. I don't know how to make that. All right. Well, there you go. There's some tips there. So how do I make the iron rods? Produced in the lumber mill at Midhaven. In the lumber mill? Are you sure? All right. Let's go and have a look at the lumber mill. I don't ever remember seeing freaking iron rods on the menu. Seriously? Oh, this is the one that's upstairs, isn't it? Yeah. I never go the right way into here. No. No, mate. We can't make iron rods inside of the lumber mill. I knew we couldn't. Right. Why would we? You know? Well, that's a bit broken. Okay, right. Produced at the lumber mill in Midhaven. They're not, though, are they? Ah. <laughs> They should be in here. They should be on here. Um, let's go across. No. Nope. Dang it! I think we've got a bit of a problem there, people. Oh dear. It's weird. You've got two points. You've got this point here. And you've got this point over here there we go it's not at the lumber mill it's lying it's at the furnace on here hooey lucky i persevered hey all right let's make a couple of them in iron rods are on the bake cool we've got six of them now i go over here now I can make that right. Ah, oh, I just used my blinking iron ore, didn't I? Okay. All right, well, I've got to go back over to feed those creatures. I can go and get some more iron deposits while I'm over there. Not a problem. I could do with getting some more fibre because, yeah, look, they're all, they all need the same sort of stuff to make these. But I want to make an iron thing of everything. I do want to make that, but I need sharp claws and stuff. An iron bow, too. Ah, oh, brilliant, eh? Okay, well, let's go back and let's go feed those two creatures and let's go get some resources. And hopefully we can get our iron products maybe next episode or something. Okay. Okay, there's those hippo creatures. Don't you go and get stuck on the roots of the tree again, okay? Eat that. And eat that. Come on. Yes, they've both got the scent of it. Eat up. Yes, that's one fed. Are you going to lay me a lovely nugget? Yes. Got some dung. Get five dung for these. That's 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 awesome. The, these fruits, though, aren't easy to come by. So, you know, there is that. Okay, right. Let's go and get our iron ore. So, around the back of the house. Where's the house gone? Huh? Oh, that's all the way over there. I got mixed up to where I was. All right. 
Well, you know where to get the iron from. I've shown you like a couple of times now. Ah, to get the iron ore, I need to have a pickaxe of some kind. And I need stone and fibre to craft that. Ah, dang it. So to get the iron, I need to have a pickaxe, which I don't got. So, yeah, all right. So uh, that's a lot of to and fro and a lot of running about. Okay, well, we've fed those two creatures. Let's just see the requirements of the sprite for this, this ecosystem to see how far up it needs to go. Oh, I've got my spade, though. I can, eat, I can grab some clay while I'm here. Yeah, here we are. Let's have a little word with the sprite. Okay, ecosystem grown to level four. So I've got to do that on all of them. And harvest grand seeds from the colossal tree. Has it got another grand seed on it, then? Interesting. Well, anyway, as interesting as that is, people, I think I've got enough inside of this episode. I mean, I can probably climb all the way to the top of it and grab a colossal seed or whatever. If I do do that, I'll be sure to let you know at the start of the next episode. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.